you like the stash well well vincent price going on like i don't know how to shave i am a man in age only like there's a lot of things i don't understand i like imagine imagine if you will because i'm single so imagine like you're talking to a chick and they're like what do you do for a living it's like uh video stuff online and it's easier it's literally easier to tell them you do like adult films or something like that because that's easier for them to understand more so than i talk about video games on youtube so i feel like the stash you know it's kind of like a little bit of a porn stash so i i feel like i feel like this is better for my look but that that's not why you're here you are here to hear about how to turn your nintendo switch into a gigantic monster now i usually don't comment on kickstarter or indiegogo stuff because primarily i've been burned by a lot of kickstarter and indiegogo stuff i think all of us have but this company seems to have raised uh, quite a bit of capital for their product it looks like it's going to be successful so i decided you know it's okay to talk about this and kind of jest and poke fun at it a little bit because they're already well on their way and really you could say that all publicity is good publicity because maybe maybe this product will interest you but i look at this thing and i'm like what the hell are we doing here like <laughs> why why did we make this who is this for who is going to buy this and why does it exist but i mean that's the beauty of kickstarter because you can have people fund your crazy ideas and who knows you know maybe they'll want to fund this idea and maybe it's something that they want so over on indiegogo there is a campaign for the nintendo switch right now that is picking up quite a bit of steam there seems to be a lot of people talking about it so i decided to throw my two cents into the mix if this is your first time on the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button like and share the video as well without any further ado let's talk about the orion that will turn your nintendo switch into like a behemoth like an absolute behemoth all right so as you can see here we have the orion by upswitch based out of kent i think that's kent indiana their first campaign ever but this whole thing is about doubling your nintendo switch screen size when you're playing it in handheld mode so obviously one of the things that we have gotten with the switch oled is a bit of a bigger screen i think that screen is absolutely fantastic i think it is more than good enough as far as size is concerned but these guys said you know what screw that we're going big we're going 188 percent larger and stereo sound for your nintendo switch now we'll take a look at the video in just a moment here but let's take a look at the story game bigger on the go look at my man right here now how did he get this to wherever his destination is he has to have he's not wearing a backpack did he put this in his large cargo pants here because like got the, got the power brick out here too he's having a good time and i mean it makes sense you have fun when you play your nintendo switch however it, it, it seems a little bit big it seems a little bit big so let's take a look at what this product is basically it is a full 11.6 inch monitor hd meaning that you essentially get dock performance out of your nintendo switch when in handheld mode it has nintendo switch built in integration so you can put your switch into it and i think this picture is very telling because look at the nintendo switch size and then look at the size of this thing like it is it is a behemoth it is a monster has the hdmi port and the usb c port because obviously you are treating this like an actual screen it has a headphone jack a kickstand that kickstand that that thing better be made out of freaking like platinum or something because that thing is going to crack with the weight of all this joy con slots dual stereo speakers and a portable battery it is it is more than a monitor my good sir my good madame whoever is watching this because this is the real deal you can hook up your joy cons to it which i think is actually pretty cool and that's something very interesting because it does sort of give it a nintendo switch feel however it's a monster and they sort of talk about how it is different than just a standard portable monitor which a lot of people have you can also use it on other systems booster smartphone convenient kickstand like i said that kickstand better be made out of like like i don't even know brass or something like that brass seems like a pretty hard metal you could charge it as you go along there's different perks going on here but i have i have a few questions about this campaign because there's a few things that aren't mentioned first off i'd like to know the weight of this bad boy because like i said this is an absolute behemoth of a thing like it, it, my man's forearms are going to be the size of like 
Arnold Schwarzenegger, by the time he's done, his biceps are going to be popping out of that hoodie, and he's going to have to get a new hoodie. And, of course, besides just the weight, the, the battery life, because the battery life actually isn't talked about anywhere on this thing. They talk about charging while you play. You can actually get, like, a uh, USB power thing to extend your battery life they talk a little bit about the actual battery itself saying that it's a nice long battery but it doesn't give you any sort of estimation on how long this battery actually is so that that's kind of interesting to me and then of course we have the, the price of it now right now the hero pack seems to be the most featured thing and the most thing that people are getting 289 dollars now granted it does come with the battery i'm guessing that's a case and a t-shirt just the actual product itself is 250 dollars and that that seems like a a lot of money for what this thing is doing i get it you know people want to have a bigger screen but like i don't know like, like imagine carrying this around with you that just seems that just seems a bit wonky here's the crazy thing the legendary distributor pack, four out of twenty-five claimed at twelve thousand dollars. What? 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 Con what consists of this? So you get oh, so you could sell it. You get a wholesale thing in there. All right, that, that's kind of cool, I guess. But let's take a look at the video here because I think the video really showcases just how big this thing is and like how you need like prosthetic arms in order to carry it so we see the the image of it here the orion you know it's fancy look at my man like he's having a good time look at but i mean you're happy when you play the nintendo switch like oh, his hands are shaking a little bit it's a little heavy isn't it it's a little bit heavy i'm sure we got this attractive young lady here what's up girl how you doing nice long nails here got another attractive lady having the time of her life my man at the skate park i hope you brought a backpack to put that bad boy in your you know backpack so that you can bring it with you and i will say i like the design of it i think the screen is what the problem is because i feel like the screen is too big and i think that's where you're gonna run into issues with this you're obviously gonna want a screen protector or something like this because it's not something that you can just sort of pick up and bring with you wherever you go if they would have went with like a a nine inch screen and then people might have said well what would be the point of it I think the point of it would be you would have more mass appeal like this feels like a very niche product that nobody necessarily really asked for but like i said you know that's sort of the beauty of kickstarter and that's sort of the fun you take this this out here i don't even know what we're doing right now my man is getting surgical with this or lady i shouldn't say i should not assume genders it is 2021 you can attach the battery pack here so that's kind of cool it's like a touchless thing and you just put the little straps on there i'm sure that that doesn't add any sort of weight to the system whatsoever thus making it extremely convenient and this guy's using it as a portable monitor here which really at the end of the day that's what this is there are a million come on dude come on i feel for your arms right now you are gonna be buff as hell and like this guy like you're obviously at home or something just just play it on your television screen you got family members that are like using your screen like kick them off you kind of got the derrick rose look to him too so that's kind of why i like them these attractive young ladies having a great time playing their nintendo switch via the orion at a park so we'll we'll wrap this up here because obviously you know they're just sort of showcasing the thing off and i'll give you guys my final thoughts on this so you're obviously thinking to yourself, what the hell is the point of this video? And really, there is no point. I just like to comment on stuff sometimes. I wouldn't consider myself a commentary person, but I think I'm kind of funny. Maybe I made you laugh a little bit in this video, but it's just kind of a silly video because I think this is kind of a, a silly product. Like I said, I have no ill will towards these people. I'm sure the product will be, you know, it'll find a marketplace. There are people who like this sort of stuff. We've obviously seen that people are already contributing money to this. They've raised over a hundred thousand dollars. They're already in the production stage of this. So I, I don't feel bad. Like I'm kind of shitting on somebody's dreams or anything like that, but it's just kind of a weird product that I don't know you know i guess everything can exist as long as there is a market for it and people are interested in it and maybe you are one of those people so i'm gonna i'm gonna be a kind soul here if you are interested in this product the orion for the nintendo switch that will make your switch really really heavy and you'll get like really jacked or whatever i'll put a link to their indiegogo campaign in the description box down below as of course you will always get the best prices of these things during these campaigns will i be buying one of these things no 
no i have no use for this i have if anything i have too many tvs in my house anyways and when i go out with my nintendo switch i just like to play it in handheld mode you know that works good enough for me my eyes are pretty decent and i can see the screen but maybe you're like mr magoo and you, you need a bigger screen so i'll throw them a link in the description box down below and yeah so give me your thoughts on this thing because i just when i saw this i've seen it for a couple days now and every day that goes by i keep looking at it and i'm like what is the point of this like what is the justification here so i thought i would share my thoughts with you let me know what you think of this in the comments section down below and as always guys vincent price here saying thank you for checking out this video if you enjoyed it be sure to let me know in the comment section down below let me know what you think of the orion as well and as always i'll catch you guys on the next video later